So good evening to all of you. Welcome back to the FMG final punch. Five images for you today. So we've done the MCQs last time. So this is the last series of five images for you on YouTube. Good evening, good evening. Right. We'll start starting with the first visual. Have a look, understand and answer. Here we are. Yes, identify the pointed structure. If you can tell me, what is this? I have given you four options. Yes, any guesses? This is a transfer section taken through the neck. Transfer section taken through the neck. Yes, Rajendra. It is not vagus, no. It's not vagus. What do you think is this? It's not vagus. Yes, anyone else? Anyone else? See, this, what is this that I'm pointing? This is the carotid shape, right? This is the carotid shape. I'll just magnify this for you, so then it will be easy to understand. Okay, see. So answer is B. Very good answer is B. This is the carotid sheath, right? And posteromedial relation of carotid sheath is going to be what? What is that? Sympathetic chain. That's sympathetic chain. Within the carotid sheath lies the common carotid and the internal carotid artery, the internal jugular vein and the vagus nerve. That's vagus nerve. That's the carotid sheath. And posteromedial relations of the carotid sheath is the sympathetic chain. That's the sympathetic chain. If you can tell me what is this group of muscles known as this group of muscles that you're looking at these are the pre vertebral muscles pre vertebral muscles and what is this fascia which is going to cover the pre vertebral muscles what is this fascia which is going to cover the pre vertebral muscles this is the pre vertebral fascia this is going to be the pre vertebral fascia right and uh, look what is this here this is the trapezius right that's the trapezius that's a sternocleidomastoid right that's a sternocleidomastoid so what is this area yes i'm telling you so what is this area this is the posterior triangle of the neck posterior triangle of the neck so these muscles are going to form the floor of the posterior triangle of the neck right these are the flow and the floor is covered by a fascia what is this this is the pre vertebral fascia so the pre vertebral fascia lies in the floor of the posterior triangle and what is this fascia this fascia which encloses the trapezius which encloses the sternocleidomastoid what is this fascia this is the investing layer of the deep cervical fascia and this investing layer forms the roof for the posterior triangle of the neck this investing layer forms the roof for anterior triangle of the neck anterior triangle right now what is this muscle if you can tell me what is this going to be yes what is this muscle going to be Come on, come on, come on. Tell me, tell me, come on. What is this muscle going to be? <clears throat> Scalenus anterior. Very good. Sam, Scalenus anterior, right? And what is this nerve? Yes, the nerve which is lying on the Scalenus anterior. The nerve which is in direct contact with the Scalenus anterior. The nerve which is covered in front by the pre vertebral fascia. Yes, what is that nerve? The nerve lying on the scalenus anterior you all know this yes that's a phrenic nerve phrenic nerve and between the scalenus anterior and the medius lies the brachial plexus and the subclavian artery brachial plexus and the subclavian artery right that's the carotid sheath and anterior wall of carotid sheath you'll get a loop here yes arun on the anterior wall of carotid sheath you get a loop and that loop is known as ansa cervicalis and this ansa cervicalis is formed by c1 c2 and c3 and this ansa cervicalis lies on the anterior wall of carotid sheath it supplies all the strap muscles all the muscles in the muscular triangle all the strap muscles except except 
thyrohyoid except thyroid thyroid is uh, supplied by c1 c1 okay thyroid is supplied by c1 clear to all of you so that's it and what is this which is covering the Mm, which is covering the thyroid gland. What is this in blue? This is the pretracheal fascia. This is the pretracheal fascia in blue covering the thyroid gland. And what is this? This is the trachea. That's the esophagus. And here is the tracheoesophageal groove. And what lies in this groove? What is this? What is this which lies in the groove here? That's the recurrent laryngeal nerve. Very good. That's the recurrent laryngeal nerve which lies in the groove. Tracheoesophageal groove. Clear to all of you? So this is a section, transverse section of the neck. Just remember all this. So clear with all the rest of the options. Answer cervical is clear to you now. Hmm? Okay, fine. So answer for this is sympathetic chain. Now we go to the next MCQ. Have a look. <clears throat> yes. Which pharyngeal arch muscle does the blue pointed structure supply? Okay, there are two arrows. One is blue and one is black. I am asking you about the blue pointed arrow. Yes. You can guess this. You can ask this. I mean, you can answer this. Sorry. Which pharyngeal arch muscle does the blue pointed structure supply? This one. So, what is the nerve? If you identify the nerve, you automatically know uh, which pharyngeal arch muscles this nerve is going to supply. Yes. The answer is the first pharyngeal arch. First pharyngeal arch. Yes, very good. And what is the nerve? What is the nerve? If you can tell me. It's very clear there. What's the nerve? Mandibular nerve, right? The nerve is mandibular nerve. You can see this. So what is this foramen here through which the mandibular nerve is coming out? That's the foramen obeil, right? Very nice. What is this ganglion here? What is this ganglion inside the skull? Huh? This ganglion is within the skull. That's a trigeminal ganglion. You can see the three branches also. I'll just magnify this for you. You can see the three branches of the trigeminal ganglion. Look at this. That's the ophthalmic. That's the maxillary. And that's the mandibular division. And this mandibular division comes out through the foramen ovale and now what is this area that we are into this is the infratemporal fossa right so that's the infratemporal fossa and this trigeminal nerve see very nicely this is the anterior division of the trigeminal nerve and this is a large posterior division and from the posterior division what is this nerve if you can tell me there are two nerves last time also i told you there are two nerves uh, in the infratemporal fossa one is in front and one is behind both of which are branches of the posterior division of mandibular nerve if you can identify this nerve yeah yeah this one the first the one in front what is the one in front this is going to be the lingual nerve. Lingual, that's the lingual nerve. And this is going to be the inferior alveolar nerve. That's the inferior alveolar nerve, right? Inferior alveolar. Clear to all of you? Right, lingual and inferior alveolar. And if you can tell me what is this nerve, what is what could this nerve be? See, if I put an arrow here, I mean, I'm trying to explain what I've seen in the slider. What could this nerve be? This is a branch of anterior division of mandibular nerve. And this is the nerve. Oh, what is this muscle? This muscle is a whistling muscle. What, what could that be? This is the buccinator. And this is the nerve which is going to pierce the buccinator and come out. Identify that nerve. Which is a branch of the anterior division of trigeminal nerve. The nerve which pierces the buccinator and comes out. If you can tell me. Come on, come on, come on. Chalo. Yes, buccal nerve. Very good. That's the buccal nerve. Very nice. That's the buccal nerve. And what is this, 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 this? this nerve which is coming here which is related to the tm joint it's a branch of posterior division of mandibular nerve yo 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 that's a nerve hmm answer look it's very nicely seen here this is the nerve so this is the posterior division of mandibular nerve no, not posterior auricular my child posterior auricular is a branch of facial nerve facial nerve posterior auricular is a branch of facial nerve see now this is lingual this is inferior alveolar and what is this third nerve Posterior auricular nahi hai bache. Posterior auricular nahi hai. What could this nerve be which is related to the TM joint? Posterior auricular nerve is a branch of facial nerve. And you can see an artery here. Are greater occipital nahi hai. It's a branch of mandibular, I'm telling you. 
it's a branch of mandibular nerve it's a branch of posterior division of mandibular nerve i'm telling you there are three branches of posterior division one i've shown you what is this this is the lingual second i've shown you inferior alveolar abhi teesra branch kon hai you tell me which is the third branch of the posterior division of mandibular nerve and this is the nerve which is going to enclose an artery here look at this artery he has shown an artery here this is the middle meningeal artery you can see this it's it's not very it's very fine not very clear these are the two roots of that nerve which is going to enclose an artery here and then this nerve goes up accompanies the superficial temporal artery now tell what is that nerve accompanies the superficial temporal artery that is the auricular temporal nerve you got it right yes that's the auricular temporal nerve so auricular temporal nerve arises as two roots and what are these two roots going to enclose within them the middle meningeal artery that's the middle meningeal artery and this auricular temporal nerve then goes uh, along with the superficial temporal artery this auricular temporal nerve is a branch of posterior division of mandibular nerve Okay, it supplies the skin over the auricle and the temporal region. It also carries the post-ganglionic parasympathetic fibers from the otic ganglion to the parotid gland. Okay, post-ganglionic parasympathetic fibers from the otic ganglion to the parotid gland. Okay, fine. This is clear. Now tell me, what is this in black? What is this pointed in black? Yes, what is this arrow? Black arrow, pointing to what muscle is that? If you can tell me. I've told you this last time, if you remember. Uh, yes, masseter, very good, masseter. And what is this muscle, which is lying deep to the uh, the lingual and the inferior alveolar nerve? What is this muscle, which is also inserted on the angle, but inside, on the medial side? ये क्या हो सकता है? What is this muscle? Yes, come on, come on, come on. What is this muscle? This one. नहीं लैटरल नहीं है बच्चे इट्स नॉट लैटरल इट्स मीडियल टेरिकॉर्ड रिमेम्बर दिस नर्व्स आर लाइंग ऑन द मीडियल टेरिकॉर्ड सो व्हाट हैज बीन कट दिस इज द लैटरल टेरिकॉर्ड दिस वन व्हिच इज कट इज द लैटरल टेरिकॉर्ड ओके दिस इज द मीडियल टेरिकॉर्ड फाइन सो द ऑल द नर्व्स आर लाइंग ऑन द मीडियल टेरिकॉर्ड दिस इज क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू चलो क्विकली आइडेंटिफाई व्हाट इज दिस मसल आल्सो व्हाट आर यू सीन इन द स्लाइड आई एम आस्किंग यू व्हाट इज दिस मसल दिस वन Come on, come on, come on, my dear children! Fast, fast, fast! What you can, you can guess. Don't retract your messages, even if it is wrong. It's okay. That's okay. What is this? Digastric, Rajvi. Be specific, no. If you say digastric, I will ask you posterior or anterior belly. Yes, that's the posterior belly of digastric. And what would this be? Yes, this is the anterior belly of digastric. The posterior belly of digastric uh, is supplied by whom? The posterior belly of digastric is supplied by which nerve? Facial nerve, because it is derived from which pharyngeal arch? Second pharyngeal arch, and the anterior belly of digastric is supplied by the mandibular nerve because it is derived from the first arch. If that's the anterior belly of digastric, what is the muscle on which it lies here? What is this muscle? That's the mylohyoid. Mylohyoid. Okay, I hope everything is clear. This is the buximeter. Huh? Buximeter. What is this nerve? If you can tell me, what is this foramen, and what is the nerve which is emerged out from here? What is this nerve known as, which is coming out from here? This is the mental nerve. Mental nerve. Okay, that's the mental nerve, which emerges out from the mental foramen. Okay, uh, fine. See the next MCQ. See, this is MCQ. Identify the blue pointed structure. Blue pointed structure, huh? The blue pointed structure. I'll. I'll Just highlight this for you. Yes, this is very important. At this, you should know. Yes, the blue one, ah, uh, the blue one. Come on, come on, come on. Identify the blue pointed structure. Alna no. uh rajvi alnad no fine any other answers any other answers for this any other answers come on man come on come on my dear children you can guess you can guess it's okay even if it is wrong you're learning things uh medial cutaneous no forearm <laughs> abhi do options are over <laughs> what is that look no uh see if you if you can uh what is this muscle you know what is this shining tendon 
you tell me this what is this shining tendon of what is this area clear enough this is the axilla yeah axilla so this is the brachial plexus that's the axillary artery this you understanding so this what is the shiny tendon hmm no what is the shiny tendon this is a shiny tendon because it, it becomes very flat and gets inserted into the floor of the bicipital groove what tendon is this no my child ye nahi hai pectoral is minor we have reflected pectoral is minor ko reflect karne ke baad you will see this artery no otherwise you cannot see the artery because this artery would be covered by the pectoral is minor you understanding we have removed the pectoral is minor and that is how you are seeing this artery what is this muscle i'm asking this is behind the artery this is behind the artery that means it is forming the posterior wall of axilla that is the posterior wall of axilla very good and remember i'm again telling you if you see such shiny tendon ha huh, the moment you see the shiny tendon it is the latissimus dorsi remember the latissimus dorsi becomes very flat shining tendon and because it has to go and get inserted into the floor of the bicipital groove clear so this is the tendon of latissimus dorsi latissimus dorsi Okay, clear to all of you. So what I'm asking you is, ये lateral है, ठीक है ना? This is lateral. This is medial. Hmm. This is medial. Now uh, the vein is not seen here, but you can see a nerve coming from the thorax. A nerve which is coming from the thorax and joining this nerve. Joining this nerve. <coughs> I'm telling you, this is the medial cutaneous nerve of arm. The medial cutaneous nerve of arm. And there's a nerve which is coming from the thorax. it's a branch of intercostal nerve it's a branch of second intercostal nerve now i told you it's a branch of second intercostal nerve it comes and joins with the medial cutaneous nerve of arm now tell me what is that it is the intercostal brachial nerve intercostal and the arm that's a brachium and this is the intercostal brachial nerve what is the intercostal what is intercostal brachial nerve it's a branch of the second intercostal nerve it's a branch of second intercostal nerve it comes and joins with what the medial cutaneous nerve of arm okay so that's the medial cutaneous nerve of arm clear that's the intercostal brachial nerve fine you tell me this what is this this is a axillary artery what could this be and what could this be and what is this tell us start what is this you tell me i'll magnify this for you what is this structure come on come on my dear children what is this come on come on be fast what is this ye nahi ye this is medial nerve rajvi what is this and what is this this is the lateral root of medial nerve this is the lateral root of medial nerve very good that's the medial root of medial nerve and that's the medial nerve that's a medial nerve so this is the lateral cord and what is this branch of lateral cord which is going into this muscle what is this branch of lateral cord that's the musculocutaneous nerve you can see this branch of lateral cord which is entering into this muscle that's the musculocutaneous nerve so what muscle is this going to be this muscle is this muscle is the coracobrachialis right that's the coracobrachialis this is clear so that's the coracobrachialis muscle that's the musculocutaneous nerve if that's the musculocutaneous nerve that's the lateral cord so this is the lateral root of medial nerve that's the medial root of medial nerve that's the medial nerve okay this is the medial nerve so this is the medial cord that's the medial cord that's the medial cutaneous nerve fora and that's the medial cutaneous nerve of arm and this medial cutaneous nerve of arm is joined by whom the intercostal brachial nerve intercostal brachial nerve hi okay clear to all of you fine so the rest of the options are clear to you this medial cutaneous nerve of arm medial cutaneous nerve of fora this both are branches of what medial cord ulna nerve is a branch of ulna nerve is also a branch of medial cord okay fine i hope everything is clear to you right so we proceed to the next mcq then your vr answer this the pointed structure represents chalo if you can answer this septum secundum very good that's septum secundum excellent so what have we opened here what have we opened here 
this is the right atrium right this is the right atrium which is opened here we've opened the right atrium just quickly tell me a line joining the svc to ivc from outside is known as what what is this line known as sulcus terminalis a line joining the svc to ivc from outside is known as sulcus terminalis and the same line from inside is known as what crista terminalis crista now this crista divides the right atrium into two half this is the rough half i mean this is the rough part and this is the smooth part the smooth part shows three openings one is the opening of svc one is the opening of ivc which is guarded by what is this valve here what is this valve which is guarding the opening of ivc this is the eustachian valve eustachian valve very good and what is this this is the opening of coronary sinus coronary sinus and this is guarded by a valve and this is what we call as the thebation valve okay that's the thebation valve Activation valve. Okay, 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 okay. Now this is the interatrial septum. Interatrial septum. What is this depression known as? This is the fossa ovalis. Fossa ovalis. Okay, that's the fossa ovalis. And uh, and uh, this fossa ovalis is represented by whom? This fossa ovalis is represented by septum primum. Septum primum. And you get an elevation about this. What is this elevation known as? This elevation is known as the limbus fossa ovalis. And this limbus fossa ovalis is represented by whom? The septum second term. Excellent. Very good to all of you. Chilo, you know this very well. So fossa ovalis is septum primum and the elevation above it is known as the limbus fossa ovalis which is represented by septum secundum. Okay, excellent. What is this triangle if you can tell me? What is this triangle known as? This is the triangle of Koch. Triangle of Koch. And uh, what is this triangle of Koch and who lies in this triangle of Koch? K-O-C-H. Who is going to lie in this triangle of Koch? Yes the AV node Koch triangle and that is the AV node who lies in this triangle okay AV node and where does the SA node lie where does the SA node lie the SA node lies at the junction of SVC with the right atrium right SA node lies at the junction of SVC with the right atrium this is clear to all of you okay if you can just quickly tell me this valve of IVC, the Eustachian valve, the Thibetian valve, this is derived from what? Septum intermedium is AV cushion, my child. Rajendran, septum intermedium is the AV cushion, AV cushion, which is formed between the atria and the ventricles. That's the atrioventricular cushion. And the septum primum will go and fuse with this AV cushion or the septum intermedium. Now, the septum primum will go and fuse with that AV cushion. It will be somewhere here, AV cushion. Somewhere here. Okay. Uh, what was I asking you? Yes. So this um, eustachian valve, the thebation valve, these are all derived from what? These are all derived from the absorbed sinus venosus, the right venous valve. The right venous valve. Yes, very good. Yes, Akshit. Yes, the right venous valve or the absorbed right horn. Absorbed right horn of sinus venosus yes the right venous valve okay that's the right valve of sinus venosus fine okay I'll, I'll just brief you this for two minutes and then i come back to the mcq here we have got this plus subscription uh, there's still one mcq left i just wait <laughs> so we have got daily live classes live quizzes structured courses and unlimited access to the materials the iconic subscription where you have got the best of the pre uh an academy the notes and uh, the lectures and the pre planner notes limited time offer the prices are further slashed you get three months you get one month's free subscription and 12 months you get two months free subscription okay we've started with the first year courses the first prof the second prof and the third prof courses and download the unacademy app okay here we are back cello answer this the last slide of the day identify the pointed structure now this is a difficult slide come on my dear children put your level best into this and answer first get oriented to where you are what region is that okay
It's a no for sure. It's a no. Hmm. Yes, Sam. How do you justify your answer? How do you justify your answer? Hypoglossal accessory. Accessory to nahi hai, for sure. Accessory to nahi hai. Huh? Laryngeal nervous. No, I'll tell you. Just one moment. One moment. See, if you're not able to understand what the nerve is, just look. Just look. What is the nerve going behind? I'll, I'll just magnify this for you in just two minutes. Which muscle is it going behind? Yes. Superior and middle constrictor ke beech mein ja rahi hai. That's fine. Which nerve? Uh, one moment. I'll just magnify this. Okay, fine. What is this muscle behind which it is going? What could this muscle be? What could this muscle be? Chalo, bolo. What is this muscle behind which the nerve is going? Which is the which is the most important, the key muscle of the oral region? This is the hyoglossus muscle. Yeah, hyoglossus. I just remember that hyoglossus huh? because everything is concentrated around the hyoglossus. There are structures above the hyoglossus, on the hyoglossus, and there are structures behind the hyoglossus. And this nerve is going behind the hyoglossus muscle. So this has to be the glossopharyngeal nerve. That's the glossopharyngeal nerve. Glossopharyngeal. If there's a nerve which is going on the hyoglossus, there were two nerves going on the hyoglossus muscle. This I have shown you somewhere. There were two nerves going on the hyoglossus. The upper one would be lingual and the lower one is going to be the hypoglossal nerve. Hypoglossal. If this is the this is the hyoglossus, two nerves will be lying on the hyoglossus, the lingual and the hypoglossal. And which is the nerve which goes deep to the hyoglossus? That's the glossopharyngeal nerve. Glossopharyngeal nerve. The glossopharyngeal nerve along with a muscle which begins from the styloid process. What is that muscle which begins from the styloid process? The stylopharynges. Stylopharynges would be going along with the glossopharyngeal nerve and it will be going between two constrictor muscles of the pharynx. Look, what is this? This is the hyoid bone. That's the middle constrictor muscle of the pharynx. That's the superior constrictor. So between the superior and the middle constrictor goes the glossopharyngeal nerve and the stylopharyngeus muscle stylopharyngeus muscle so that's the superior constrictor muscle okay this which begins from the hyoid bone this is the middle constrictor muscle and what is this which begins from the thyroid cartilage if you can tell me what is this muscle this is the inferior constrictor which part of the inferior constrictor is this the thyropharyngeus part of inferior constrictor thyropharyngeus part Okay, and quickly tell me what is this muscle which is cut here? What is this muscle which is cut here? Hmm, this you should know which is cut here and here. What could this muscle be? Yes, anyone? This muscle which is which splits into two. That's how you remember this muscle starts from the styloid process, comes and splits over the hyoid bone. <laughs> Excellent, you got it. That's the stylohyoid. Starts from the styloid process, comes and splits over the hyoid bone. That's the stylohyoid. And who's going through the split? Yes, no, no. Who's going through the split? Yehevo. This is the posterior belly of digastric who's passing through the split. Okay. So stylohyoid comes and splits over the hyoid bone. And what passes through the split is the posterior belly of digastric. And that's the anterior belly of digastric. This is exactly similar to a muscle which was coming and dividing into two slips inserted here. That was the flexor digitum superficialis. And what is the tendon which passes through the superficialis? That's the profundus. Profundus. Exactly similar. A muscle starts from the styloid process, comes and splits over the hyoid bone. That's the stylohyoid. And what passes through the stylohyoid is the posterior belly of digastric. Posterior belly of digastric. Is this clear? Are you all following this? And see, this is so nice. If you can tell me what is this, what am I pointing? What am I pointing to? Your pterygoid plate. That's the pterygoid hamulus. And what is this? This is a mandible. What is this? Quickly tell me. What could this be? This is extremely important and this is very important. See, there are plenty of things in one single slide you have. So every time I can put one one arrow for you. Huh? Huh? Yes, very good. Yes, actually, that's the pterygomandibular raphe. 
pterygo mandibular raphe and this raphe is very important because this raphe gives origin to two muscles one muscle is behind here and one muscle is in front here in front so what is this muscle this you know is the superior constrictor and what is this muscle if you answer this your day is done your day is made okay chalo bolo what could this muscle be Buccinator, yes, Akshit, very good. So, pterygomandibular raphe is very important because in front of it, it's the origin of something, and behind it is the origin of a muscle. In front is the origin of buccinator, and behind it is the origin of superior constrictor muscle, superior constrictor muscle of the pharynx. This is clear. And look, this is so nice. Yeah, now this is the superior constrictor, and ye base of the skull hai. What is this? What is this gap known as? This is the gap above the superior constrictor and this is the foramen of morgagni foramen of morgagni okay anyway i'll i'll show you the slide somewhere again and again we'll uh, dis discuss about this slide okay i hope everything is clear to you yes understood this slide now this is very important huh? somewhere again I'll, i'll sit i'll come back to the slide huh? don't worry okay so i hope you have understood everything thank you thank you and it was a very good interactive session okay so we come with small small uh, half of our visuals and mcq sessions so you remain active okay thank you once again thank you thank you to all of you